Hello everyone. Welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right. So today I have my March final wrap up for the Movie Marquee Challenge and the reveal for April. All right. So if you've never joined us for the Movie Marquee Challenge, it is a monthly challenge that is being hosted by um, myself, Heather the Crochet Witch, and Samantha from Amethyst Craftworks. And we are taking inspiration from movie posters and doing a uh, project based on the colors in the poster. So uh, March was Samantha's month and she picked uh, Hocus Pocus. So I've got the poster and I've got my finished blanket. Well, one of them. <laughs> oh, it's so big and it's so pretty. Oh, I love how it turned out. This is probably one of my favorite blankets I've done um, for the Movie Marquee slash my charity blankets. It is a corner to corner and it is really big. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. But it turned out really nice and I have so the posters here and then this is what it looks like laid out on my king-size bed upstairs so there's that one but not only that but I also started a moss stitch uh, baby blanket I didn't finish but I did get quite a bit done so this one, um, I discussed all the yarns I used on this one, and this, and this, this one is using a, um, what was it, a Lion Brand Pound of Love and uh, the Ice Yarn uh, Cakes Baby Fine. So. Yeah. So this one is turning out really pretty and it's just the moss stitch so um, in case you're not familiar it's, I think it's also called the linen stitch I mean depends on where you go but it's basically a the repeat is a single crochet chain one skip a stitch single crochet and then you repeat that and then on the way back you do the single crochets in the chain one space and the um the chain one over the single crochets so that's what it looks like and this is my second cake of the ice yarns Fell on the floor whoops so this is my second cake. There is a third cake that I will be putting in this. Um, it's going to be a little bit bigger than the receiving blanket size I normally try and do, which I believe is around 45 squared, like 45 by 45. This one, um, I think I figured it out that it was like closer to a crib size. So I think it's like 54 and that's like 54 by 36 or 50 by 36 anyways it's gonna be a little bit bigger um but it could also be used as like a toddler size blanket so there's that and then heather picked the movie for uh april and it is 10 things i hate about you which is also one of my favorite teen movies. And here's the poster. Very excited. And I picked out some colors that I think will go really well. Let me get them. Mm -hmm. I had a fun time picking colors this time. I think I have a nice variety. I'm not sure what kind of pattern I'm going to do. But these are the colors I think I'm going to use. 
All right, so we have a little bit of everything here. <laughs> All right, so the first one is way back when AC Moore was still a thing. This is the uh, Studio Classic by Nicole. And these are all 100% acrylic, uh, medium weight number fours. Um, they are all machine washable and dryable. Um, this one being a variegated has a little bit less yardage, so it only has uh, 260 yards. And it is a 4.9 ounce um, ball, but the rest should be between seven and six and seven ounces. But I will go over that. So this is Sage Marl. And I thought this worked really well with, um, so Cameron, who is actually, I don't know a lot of their, well, I guess I know a couple of them. So Cameron is, I think it's Gordon Love Hewitt. Is that his name? Gordon. Anyways, if I'm wrong, I'll put it up here, but this looked like his shirt to me. And so I was like, nice. Is that his name? Anyways, so Cameron, <laughs> uh, I thought this looked like his shirt. And then, um, let's see, what was it? So Patrick Verona, which was... Oh, Heather just said it this morning and I watched it. Why am I drawing a Heath Ledger? Of course, Heath Ledger. So I thought this color looked like Heath Ledger's shirt. And this is a Craft Smart Value in the color charcoal. And it is seven ounces. And what kind of yardage are we looking at? Uh, 354 yards. So there's that one. And then, um, so Bianca, she has her, her, uh, pants on and she has her, uh, pants rolled at the bottom. And I thought it kind of looked like this color. <laughs> so there we go. And this is a big twist value. And it is 380 yards. It is a six ounce ball and it is in the color medium gray. So I thought that looked like that. And then, whoops, sorry, I have everything balanced. And then lastly, um, I think it's Kat, uh, Kat, her name is Katrina, I think. Anyways, they call her Kat, um, which is Julia Stiles' character, and her jeans looked kind of like this color to me. And this is also a big twist value, same yardage, and this is in the color Versity Navy. So I thought those colors, hold on, let me grab it. I thought these colors... Yes, my bag just fell. Would look really nice with the poster. And I wanted to do something that was a little more masculine. I thought about doing like, you know, the red shirt or um, even like a bunch of the blues because there was a, a variety of blues in there. But I do a lot of blue blankets, including those two. So I was like, let's go with a different color palette. And I'm extremely excited to think of what kind of blanket I want to make. So um, in case you guys would like to participate as well, we have um, Heather's uh, Facebook group linked in our uh, Movie Marquee uh, videos. So it's tagged down below in the description box. Um, you do not have to do the same movie or the same type of project that we are doing. You can do anything that um, pretty much your heart's desire. If you 
have one particular movie that you're super excited about and you just love the colors, do a project with that. And it doesn't have to be a blanket. It can be a sweater. It can be amigurumi. It could be a basket or um, clothing. It could be anything. So um, feel free to work on your project and share it in her Facebook group. We would love to see it. If you do use a different movie than we like that we then we picked um please put the poster too so we can see what your inspiration was but other than that sky's the limit all right um that is about it for this video i hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night or whatever it is i hope it's wonderful